This video was brought to you by the successful business model. One of the things that we consistently see here online is building wealth. Richard Fain, Earn Your Leisure, Grant Cardone, Meet Kevin, Graham Stephan. They all talk about building wealth. And I have a question for you. What is building wealth? Please put that in the comments. What is building wealth? Because I'm going to put in some of my thoughts in this because let's take the term millionaire. There are supposedly at the beginning of the year, there was like 21 asset based millionaires. I don't think there are that many asset based millionaires due to the collapse of the stock market, the collapse of cryptocurrency and the collapse in price of home prices. So I feel there were people who were asset based millionaires in the beginning of the year who are no longer millionaires. And I make that distinct point because technically, if you have a million dollars worth of assets, you are a millionaire. Technically, my beliefs are you're not wealthy at that level. That is my belief. And I'm about to go a little deeper. I feel that we should define wealth at five million and above. And I'm about to explain why. Look what happened to all of these people who were asset based millionaires. And typically when you go through the numbers, um, there are like 21 millionaires. And then when you get to three to five million is 1.5 million and you get to five million, it drops down to like 145,000 families. Why I believe that we should classify wealth starting at five million. Typically, to get to five million, you have done more than become an asset based millionaire. Typically, there's going to be a cash flowing business or something that cash flows in there because for you to get to a net worth of five million dollars, you're on average, you're going to be making two fifty to five hundred thousand dollars per year. And typically, that's just not a job. There are some jobs that pay that kind of money, but typically that puts you into a successful business owner category. And that's why I would define wealth because literally in my garage, I have in the, the depreciating assets, my cars, my cars are worth, I think $350,000. My two cars are worth more than the average 60 year old's brokerage account, statistically. So what we're getting ready to do, once again, we've, we've put out a definition because I feel that's important because these, all of these videos talking about building wealth, building wealth, building wealth, without actually telling you what wealth is, are actually being audacious enough to go ahead and put out a claim. I don't think they're really doing you any good because, you know, building wealth, building wealth. I personally think wealth starts at five million dollars and above. And if you do not have five million, maybe three point five, maybe, maybe. But if you're just at like 1 million, 1 1.5 and your wealth is tied up in illiquid assets, well, stocks, stocks are fairly liquid. You can turn stocks into money in about a week because essentially you have to sell and the money hits your account. The accounts have to settle and then you have to transfer the money out your brokerage account to your bank account. And that takes, I believe, because I haven't done it. All my money that I've got in my brokerage accounts, I have not transferred any out. But I believe we're looking at 
eight to 10 days to do all that because you cannot sell a stock today and get the money tomorrow. That's not going to happen. But from a liquidity point to be able to cash in an asset and get cash money in eight to 10 days, it's fairly quick. So we're going to say stocks are liquid, kind of liquid, kind of liquid, but a real estate that's not liquid or take my cars. Last year in the car rental business, I had 31 cars. Well, the year before, and I still have six. So getting rid of hard assets can be somewhat problematic depending upon the market. Also, in the case of building wealth, um, I've noticed some things that a lot of people want to be a millionaire. I personally think you need to set your goals bigger than that. I think your goal should be, I want to achieve a net worth of $5 million. Because let's say you had a, a cash flowing business. Let's say this business was worth 1.5 million. And then you had the house, that house was worth a million. So that's 2.5. And then you say you had a, a million in stocks and some other stuff. So even with the stock market going down and you, you started at 5 million, maybe you went to 3.5 and you still had multiple millions of dollars in net worth. Whereas if you were only at like one or just barely squeaking into the millionaire club, barely squeaking into the millionaire club, because I, I, I saw a video of this young man who was very excited. He's like, I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm like a few bands away from it and he's 24 and he was extremely excited and I'm like okay because let me tell you my story I didn't really I've did in 2012 I did 1.5 million in gross revenue plus I was sitting on about 400k so after taxes I was technically a cash money millionaire, technically. And honestly, I didn't feel rich. You know, and I went through very various phases of this because once you get money and you get used to money, you're, you, it kind of changes you because when I came out of that boarding house and I started making $38,000 a year and then few months later, I was making $60,000 a year. And then especially when I got to a business environment and I got that sales job and I started my business that year, I felt rich and I wasn't a millionaire because I think it's based upon perspective and where you are, because at this juncture, I am accustomed to having money. And in 2012, I knew that was a lot of money and this provoked me to attempt to retire. I only lasted three months. But now as I sit here and I'm looking at what I have done in recent years, to me, a million dollars isn't that much. Grant Cardone put out the most ridiculous video, he couldn't live on 400,000. Know what I know statistically about average American income. And I'm going to say this, the average person who's making 35 to $40,000 a year, if you move them up to just 100K, not even 400K, but 100K, their lifestyles will improve substantially. And there are many people who could live on 100K. Uh, even though I have more money, my yearly expenses probably come to about 90, about 95,000. Well, I, yeah, because I, I, I'm not a big spender. I mean, I, I sometimes go months without spending money outside of my own um, basic necessities such as food and gas. Sometimes I go months without really spending money. Like typically when I buy some new gear, I buy a lot of stuff all at once. But I typically, and this is one of the reasons that my personal bank account, 
even though that's where I pay my expenses and stuff out of. So even though out of my personal checking account, that's where I pay my expenses because I don't consistently spend money. That's the reason that my personal checking account, the number continues to go up and money is a very interesting thing. I believe money is an amplifier. Money amplifies who you are. If you're a reasonable, non consuming person, you could get, I have a friend who's worth maybe $20 million. He drives a Honda. He lives in a normal house. He and his wife, his wife doesn't work. And that's just who he is. And you know, their kids, now their kids go to private school. That's where they spend their money. They spend their money on their kids. Their kids go to private school. Son's a part of a traveling hockey team, which is $2,000 per month. So that's where they spend their money. But typically in the quest of building wealth, let's take about building wealth with real estate. That's typically a decades long process because one of the things I have seen is a lot of people have jumped onto the Airbnb train. And in the beginning, a lot of people made a lot of money with Airbnb. And what I am seeing now is, you know, Shelby Church, she put up a video talking about how her Airbnb was not doing well. I'm seeing what I consider failed Airbnbs every day on Zillow. And part of this is creating wealth. Like once again, I feel the best way to create wealth, long-term durable wealth is to start a business. And it's the fastest way. It is absolutely the fastest. Let me say this right off the riff. If you bought anything from B School for Hustlers or you bought anything from um, Glendon Cameron School, do not buy anything because it's going to take about two weeks to send everyone emails. So I'm just letting you know up front. It's a new year. It's a new me. If you've noticed I have deleted all of the content on my channels and I'm starting over. And one of the things that I wish that I didn't do was name the school platform B school for hustlers. This is me taking accountability. I did many things that created some problems. So I'm, you know, step by step cleaning up. And this is something that I had to do. I had to get rid of that platform and then create this platform, which is the learn the successful business model.com. So this is what's going on. There's a money management course over here and what I am doing now at the moment, there's nothing here but I'm going to take you from the beginning. The first thing is the money management course. And then your first business, how to start a business as fast as possible. That is a particular training. The goal is to get you the $250,000 per year when the average small business owner only makes 75,000. Then after that, how to scale your business, the perpetual business model. Now, what would I mean about that? This is where you build a business and you hire a team. And instead of retiring, you have a team in place that runs your business and creates some very large checks for you. Because, you know, I, I've been thinking about it because, you know, everyone's talking about investing, investing, investing. And hands down. An active business has made me the most money ever in my life. And I thought, what if I just go ahead and transform the business, hire people to run it and set it up differently? So that's something I will be teaching. 
So then the successful business model hotshot. This includes the money management course, your first business and how to scale your business. Now, the digital nomad, how to make and use a YouTube channel to make killer income. Self-explanatory. Blogging like it's 2029, advanced blog tactics to make killer money. Blogging, creating a profitable online course, how to create a, cor a year's income in the month. The digital money hotshot playbook, playbox, or it should be playbook, I'll fix that. But it's going to include the digital nomad, the blogging course, the creating profitable online courses, and how to run YouTube ads. Now, at the moment, there is nothing here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build them out one by one. I may kind of do two things. You know, I may go ahead and do the money management course and maybe the YouTube course at the same time. I haven't decided, but this is me transforming my business because I did send out an email saying there was going to be some big changes and these are the big changes. The link will be below for whatever you want and I'm just going to put the bundles there because both of the bundles include payment plans or you can come to the website and sign up and I'm going to tell you right now there's nothing here here and my goal is each day to create training so you know we're going to get a quite a bit done in the month of january now what's going to happen after these things are done and mature the price is going to go up so you want to get in now do not email me or message me after the price goes up because i'm telling you now so if you want this new training you want this new look you want this new movement forward go ahead and go to learn the successful business model.com to get in now to get in early so um this is what's going on this is what i'm doing so hopefully you like it